And we back! Today we're getting finesse to the max, but finesse until we win a championship. I'm gonna be accepting every single trade that opposing GMs throw at me, and y'all know, the trades that they try to give you, you never end up winning. I turned off financial trade rules, turned off salary cap, and turned trade frequency all the way up to 100. We're gonna sit back, simulate, and see what type of team the other GMs can build for me. Cause that's basically what's happening. When we win that championship, that's when the video ends. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. I got some snacks, I got my water, because I just feel like since they're gonna be offering me bad trades, this is gonna be a 15 year challenge, 30 year challenge. We're running with the New York Knicks. All right, it's been a minute since the Knicks have won a championship. So I was gonna say we help them, but we're not helping them. The other teams are gonna help them. The Knicks are going to have what number pick? It's not a good one. Oh, oh, it's a 27th, 27th overall pick for the Knicks. So we're starting off, I would guess that they're gonna draft us a young team. That's my guess. I don't know if this is the first time I've done accepting every trade videos on 2K22, but I don't have any recollection of doing it. So I don't even know what the, the trade system's gonna look like. We got Bam, Brandon, Ingram. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. We got Bam, Brandon, Ingram, Fred Van Vliet, Colin Sexton, Gary Payton, the second. Um, shooting guard center, I always love to see that whenever I do. This is not a good team, but I like the young pieces that we got, I gotta admit. Okay, now we just simulate, and there's the first trade. I was gonna say, wait a minute, we're going too long without seeing the trade. The first trade is Fred Van Vliet and Rajon Rondo for Aaron Gordon, our starting point guard, our all-star point guard is out the door just like that. Did not take long, did not, did not take long for us to get finesse. So now our starting point guard is Markel Fultz, and our starting shooting guard is Gary Payton II, who looks extremely swole, by the way. Am I, am I bugging it, saying that he looks extremely swole in this picture? So uh, one weekend, one trade done, and we just keep it going. And we don't stop until we win a championship. The good thing is we're, we're borderline playoff team to start off with. We're trading BAM for SGA. Interesting. Um, run Gary Payton at the center. Run GP at the... No, nah, they don't have Isaiah Roby. I personally would do this, why would not be able to, his secondary position is center. So we fine, right? Because they told us he is a center. Okay, we lost. Uh, did you, okay, yeah, okay. You let me, you know what? Let's normalize these minutes. He's not ready for that. He's not ready for it just yet. Colin Sex is now our six man. We got two trades in. Bringing in Shea's not the bad thing though. I hate that we had to get rid of Bam, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is the way it works. And once we get to free agency, we're gonna put it on automatic. So the our opposing, not opposing GM, our assistant GM can make some signings if he wants to or whatever. Brandon Ingram for Dylan Brooks. Great, great. You know, we were we were the three seed, by the way. Brandon Ingram, before we sent them to uh, sent them to Miami, averaging 21, six and five. And now we're bringing in Dylan Brooks in a first round pick. I don't know, that first round pick might be valuable. But for me, I don't like that because now a lot of our scoring is gone. That was 20 points per game. I mean, we got Shaves averaging 26, but that was 20 plus points per game that we just got rid of. We're gonna keep simulating. And uh, as trades come through, I'll show you. It's three days later. We got another trade. Small four, Dylan Brooks. Isaiah Roby was our starting center four. Daniel Gafford and Bones Highland. So now Gaff is at the starting center. Some of the trades, actually, I might not show you if they're insignificant. It's like trading the ninth best player for their ninth best player. I might not show you every single trade. Just know we are accepting them all. Um, So we're getting Dylan Brooks back. You know, no, no big deal. We get a Dylan Brooks back. We're trading away our starting center and a first round pick, if you didn't see. We gave up a first round pick. So now Dwight Powell is our starting center. And that that's not a recipe for a championship team. We were the three seed, and then we traded like Bam and Brandon Ingram. And now we not might not even be a playoff team. It's unfortunate. Hey, we're getting an all-star. Yeah, yeah, we're getting an all-star. We're trading away Shea. Hey, we got two players that are fighting in the finals right now, so that's fun. Both of these players are winning players, right? Defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart. He might not even start. Actually, he will start because we just traded a shade. So Wiggins is our four. Who is scoring? Oh, Wiggins not even started. Wiggins got to start. I'm sorry. I'm not even supposed to be doing this, but Wiggins has to start. He's an all-star. I'm so disappointed in that because I'm pretty sure Shea was about to be an all-star this year because you saw he's averaging 26 points per game on a fringe playoff team. That's good enough. We're getting Anthony Simons in the first round pick. I actually love that trade. Anthony Simons is an absolute stud. We got rid of Kyle Sexton, who's not bad either, but I like the future that is uh, Anthony Simons because he is like 17 years old or something, or he was 17 years old once he got drafted. And now... 21, I don't know how old. Oh, we're, we're trading him away immediately. Great. How old are you though? 22. We're trading you away immediately for Jeremy Grant. Okay, great. And we gave up a pick on top of that. So that's um something. Jeremy Grant is coming off our bench. 
I did keep on trade deadline, by the way, just because there has to be some type of stoppage. As you can see, uh, this is going on for a very long time. So trade deadline is about to come up. We trade in Wiggins for Cole Anthony and a first round pick. I guess it's not bad. Cole Anthony is younger, bright future, and we got a pick too. And we already had a bunch of wings and stuff. So I don't hate that. Trade deadline is about to come up. Bones Highland in the second for the best player of all time. That's an easy except for me. I ain't even thinking about that. And I think we did so many trades. I would have guessed that we just did 10 plus trades. And now we're done. Now we simulate. Will this team, wait, let's, let's go ahead and do a little recap. The current team looks like Marcus Smart, Gary Payton II, Dylan Brooks, Aaron Gordon, Dwight Powell, Jeremy Grant, Cole Anthony, Frank Kaminsky, Malik Beasley coming off the bench. Is that a playoff team or not? You let me know. The answer is no. We, we weren't good enough to make the playoffs. We were the 12th seed. Nothing to see here. We do have our own pick, if I'm not mistaken. So there is a world where we draft a superstar player that can save the challenge. And the champion goes to Shea. Great. We trade... <laughs> We traded bro away and he he teamed up with Zion and Tyrese Halliburton and won a finals MVP. He averaged 32.6 in the finals and we gave him away for Wiggins, who we eventually traded away for Cole Anthony. Steph Curry put up 76 points this season. I don't know if you see the 76 this year. Are we being serious? Oh man, that's that's just bad. They were the eighth seed too, if you didn't see that. Okay, let's see what number pick we end up getting because we were bad and we have some extra picks if I'm not mistaken. Who are we? What team are we? New York, we're the Knicks. We traded our pick away. For, I, didn't, I didn't even see that happen. I did not even see that happen. It was the 11th overall pick. We got number 20 with Miami, but we traded away our pick. That's us. Ha ha ha. Dylan Brooks, that's 20 million. That's a lot of money right there. Oh, we don't have any money to spend. So our team is going to look pretty much the same going into next season until it doesn't. It's when we uh, start accepting trades. Hey, so we haven't even played a game yet in this season, and we're already trading away Jeremy Grant for Duncan Robinson in the pick. Literally, we were 0-0 zero on zero the year. Uh, so that's... That's fun to just do that. Oh, we did make some offseason signings, but I, we're just accumulating first round picks now. We're hitting the reset button, I guess. Um, we dropped when we, we gave a contract to Drummond. We gave $50 million to Andre Drummond. That's what my assistant GM thought was best. I mean, let, let's, I mean, he's killing it through the first game, but yeah, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not. Cole Anthony's getting traded for a first round pick. We're legitimately cleaning house and just accumulating picks. Sam Presti challenge from the other GMs trying to turn me into Sam Presti. That's what's happening. First round pick. Like, this is kind of crazy that we all of the trades you just saw were us downgrading talent to get first round picks. Are the upcoming drafts just washed? Malik Beasley, two first round picks. Like, what? Malik Beasley's coming back. Yay, woo, we traded away the guy we drafted 20th overall. He might be a stud, we'll never know, we'll never know. We needed more wings and I guess Malik Beasley is that. We're using one of those picks and getting Paul George. Yeah, How old? he's 32, he's old. And we're the seventh seed, so all of that is, we just upgraded heavily, upgraded heavily. We still got nothing but centers on our bench, but that's a huge trade, man. I mean, he, he's gonna start regressing very, very soon. Um, but now we're just ex just doing dumb stuff now. Why would we why would we want to do this? Gary Payton was on a solid contract, but nope, we traded him away. Okay, it's literally all centers on the bench. It's not my problem though. Paul George is gone. Great. Thank you for the week of services, uh, Pollard. And um, we're bringing in Jared Vanderbilt and this guy who was the 28th overall pick. Guess what position he plays? Do -do -do -do. He's a power forward center. That's great. That's amazing. Well, Paul George is gone, and now Eric Bledsoe's our starting shooting guard. I, I love, I'm loving this video so far. It's been fun because once we do end up winning that championship and we reap the rewards of all of these terrible, terrible trades, it's going to be worth it. Vanderbilt is gone. Just that quick. We got another first round pick, I guess. I mean, look, can we go look at the pick cabinet? Let's look future picks. In this year's draft, we have three first round picks. Next year's draft, we have one, two, three, four, five, six first round picks. Draft after that, we got one, but the draft after that, we got one, two, three, four. Like, what has happened? This is real life Sam Presti challenge. I'm here for it, I guess. I mean, what, what else am I supposed to do? We're spectators here, me and you. Harden turned back the clocks a little bit and got a second MVP award. Cole Anthony, who was on our team for some time, got traded to Chicago, and he's six man of the year. Defense player there goes to John Nice, Josh Chris for most improved. We were the ninth seed, ladies and gentlemen, the New York Knicks. Who would have thought that the New York Knicks would be at this place, all things considered? The new lineup, because I think we did one or two more trades, is Eric Bledsoe, Duncan Robinson, Horton Tucker, Chris Boucher, and Drummond. Drummond is the highest overall player on our team. I just want to say that again. Andre Drummond, 2023 Andre Drummond, is the best player on our team, and we are a playoff team. 
Take a look at averages. He averaged, two, he averaged 20 and 13, bro. Give Andre Drummond the keys, and he gonna go crazy. Duncan shot up. 48% from three, so he was killing the game in his role. Ninth seed, baby. Ninth seed. Renee to Crowns, where you going, Kenny? We're going against the Boston Celtics, who got Lamelo, Chris Middleton, auto generated guy. Oh, Zach Levine. I, I look right over Zach Levine. Remember, there's no salary cap. So you don't have to think it makes sense because it doesn't. But they got him. The team's expensive. Doesn't matter. There is no such thing as money, and, and there's no such thing as playoffs for us. We're out. All right. Draft lottery. Okay. So one of our picks from Indiana and Portland, we have two picks that are valuable. We got six and seven in this year's draft. Okay. That's fine. We'll take that. Of course, number one is the best, but I mean, it is what it is. What about free agency? Will we have, oh, what am I talking about? It doesn't matter if we have money, it's free agency and, and no salary cap. So do what you want, my guy. We spent money against Spencer Dinwiddie. And John Conchar is now our new starting shooting guard. We drafted this guy in the second round, and he's a starter for us. Derrick Rose is back in New York. Cody Zeller is back. Where are the guys we drafted? This guy? Sixth overall pick. 20 years old. Okay, you might have a lot of value. Oh, man. I mean, the sixth and seventh overall pick are both weak? Like, bad? Uh, okay, three and a half star value. Okay. And, okay, so they're both got maybe bright futures, but in the now... They're not even in a rotation. It's two back-to-back -back lottery picks. Our star player gets traded away for a first-rounder. <laughs> Just like that, our star player is gone. That's what Drummond had been through the first or last year. See, I don't know, man. It sucks. So we sucked. And I, need, I didn't feel the need to show you anything because the trades we did were all small and we were the worst team in basketball. We also potentially have the 11th, 10th and 11th pick. And we got the first pick. And we got 11 and 12. Is this a draft where we have a superstar? And if we do, will they trade the superstar away eventually? Oh my God. The projected first overall picks overall is a 68. Stop. Stop. He's, this gotta be the Anthony Bennett. This gotta be the worst. Okay, this guy might be solid, but it's not on me to make that pick. I'm simulating past the draft. If they draft this 68 overall dude, I'm... The year that we get the first pick, there's no stud. Okay, we got a draft and stash power forward with one badge. This draft sucked. This guy looked like he might have been nice, but he, he, he didn't fall. So we got a 69 overall point guard, a 71 overall point guard, and a draft and stash guy. That's so amazing. We're doing such a good job in this, this video. Three, four years in? I don't even, four, three years in? We haven't even been close to doing anything. And remember, the goal is to win a championship. That was our best chance to get a high overall pick and draft a superstar. We got another draft and stash. Oh, no, this is the other guy that we had earlier. How many years are you draft and stash, my guy? We need this dude to be a stud. 19 years old. One badge is not going to cut it, though. That's kind of like the indicator of whether or not a player is going to be good is their badges. But he does have eight potential, so that's fun. We suck. We're going to have the first overall pick again next year, hopefully, because that's look at this thing. We have to win a championship. Remember that. Win a championship. Don't you love when your former players win MVP while you're the 15th worst team in your conference? Because that's something that happened today. Um, they're probably... Oh, we did make a big trade, by the way. Chris Middleton. Look, he's aging heavily. But um, he still averaged 19 for us this year. Was not enough to get us outside of the worst team in the league type status. But hey... Here we are, as Shea tries to go on and win another Finals MVP. <sighs> hey, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You expect other GMs to, to give us good trades? Second worst team in the league. I'm sorry, not the Warriors are worse than us. And we drop down to the fifth overall pick. That's amazing. That's... I need that draft stats dude to be that man. Where are you at? Okay, both of our draft stats dudes are here. They're both not very good. I need that player progression to go crazy. Let's see who we draft with that fifth overall pick. That's our only way out of here, low-key. 75 overall point guard named Vlad. We had another first round. Oh, this guy's here. Okay, I'm like, first overall pick? That was some last year's draft stash. Uh, the same thing last year's draft stash. Free agency. Can, my, can they go sign somebody, please? Jason Tatum? No, no, no signings. Okay, we're not going to sign anybody. Player progression. I need these power forwards to go crazy. I need them both to be 80 plus. One of them is, I guess I'll take that. The other one's very close. I mean, actually, that's a good progression as Chris Middleton gets worse. And we did not sign anybody. We're still paying Duncan Robinson, even though he can't even touch the floor. For some reason, Steven Adams is getting money. Another year of us being terrible? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know those young players that we were excited to build around and them be the guys? We're, 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 we're trading one away. 
Why don't you look at what you look at that? So our new team. Oh, we also traded Chris Middleton a little while ago for Larry Market and whatever. I didn't really think this challenge through, did I? We're gonna be here for 30 years. Oh, we're trading away Larry Market. Okay, great. He was having a really good year. Good. Let's let's get let's get rid of him. I didn't think this challenge through at all. I've already dedicated the time. I'm not stopping now. We will win the championship except in every trade. Eventually, we won't be the worst team in basketball. Eventually. They're doing a, a, a buy now trade? I get... I'm, I got mixed emotions because this guy's the first overall pick just last season. And I guess he's got good value. As you can see, he's three and a half star. Troy Jones, who are you? You were part of a trade earlier in the video, I guess. We're getting Tyrese Maxey and Damian Lillard, who's old right now. But he's still a 19 point per game score. Tyrese Max is a 22 point per game score. Hey, I mean, hey, what am I supposed to do? I have to accept, and I did. Also, this rookie, the fifth overall pick, was having a really good season, but now he's losing his starting spot. Hey, it's part of the game. Wow, we're still not going to be good as we are 11 and 35. We're gonna still not going to be good, but hey, we have Tyrese Maxey. No, we don't. We don't. We literally don't have him anymore. We have, we have DeJounte Murray. Who they're the same overall, but Tyrese Max is four years younger. So there's that. <laughs> but hey, we got DeJounte Murray, so that's a dub. Okay, we don't have Dame anymore, but we got Harden. Harden just won an MVP two years ago. Right? That's not that's not bad. Huh. Okay. I don't believe I don't believe we're gonna keep DeJounte Murray in the team before the deadline. I got a an ankle in it. They're gonna they're gonna make us trade Tyrese Maxey. I'm not no, not Tyrese Maxey, DeJounte Murray. I just feel it in my bones. We, we traded it a first overall pick who looked like he might be a stud one day. And we made it past the trade deadline. Look at that. DeJounte Murray lives to see the rest of the season. 5th, 6th, 11th, 22nd, 27th. What the heck? If you, oh, man. This is accepting true. Bro, normal me would package some of those picks in with a player or two. And boom. We got something nice. But nope, we simulate through that and we go to rookie signings and just see who we ended up getting with the fifth overall pick. Our last year's fifth overall pick ended up winning rookie of the year. I didn't show that, but he won rookie of the year. And this guy is a 23 and not good. What is going on with our, our drafting? Can we please just sign somebody to be with DeJounte Murray, please? I just, I need, I need one other player. Give me one other player. They're not going to get anybody else, are they? This is ridiculous ridiculous i might go three years in the future until we make some noise we'll see just like that we take 10 steps backwards as we trade for gary trent and brandon boston jr Dejounte, thank you for the half season service but you're gone the bright side is again this guy won rookie of the year so maybe with him having the extended role he can be more i don't believe so but it's a possibility i mean he's getting 10 assists i'm just trying to be optimistic and a challenge that sucks and that's all i can really say what can save us is us getting a high draft pick and drafting well. But maybe it doesn't because we had the first overall pick and we had to trade him away. Like immediately. Okay, we're trading him away. The guy that gave us a little bit of hope, we're trading him for Ben Simmons, who's actually really good. I just hope that Ben is here to stay. You know, Ben Simmons can win you some extra games. I'm not saying that we're about to be a playoff team now that Ben is here. But it's he's going to help. But he probably won't be here for more than two weeks. It's just, it's just the way this has been going. Larry Market is coming back to New York. Woohoo! That was a good time for Ben. Was hooping too. I mean, overall averages don't look great, but he was hooping, man. And we trade him for Larry Marketing, who had left the team a little while ago. Tyrese Maxey, ex New York Nick. Okay, so we weren't the worst team in basketball, which I guess is a good sign. Um. We have the fourth overall pick, the eighth overall pick, the 11th overall pick, the 22nd overall pick. I'm just ready for them to package some of those picks in. Oh, Rudy Gobert is on our team, but he's 35, so it didn't matter. This team wasn't the worst team in basketball, believe it or not. I can't, yeah, I can't believe it myself, but hey, it, it is what it is. Fifth overall pick, I just, I, I, I'm not assuming that we're going to be the fourth overall pick, guys. I'm not assuming that we're going to get somebody nice, but we might have. Okay. Okay. Go sign somebody in free agency now. That's all I care about. Go sign somebody. Oh, New York is trying to get all nice with it. Zaire, Jordan Poole, V8. Rudy Gobert's getting worse. We got a bunch of centers on the team. Hey, we're not a playoff team for show for show, 
But at least I see them spending some type of cash. They didn't go after no max player, which I would have loved for them. To, I'd rather take one max player over these three role, uh, 84 overall-ish role players. But hey, I can't be picky considering we were the worst team in basketball for like four years in a row. We immediately trading away one of them. Okay, then he, Zaire didn't even last one day in the organization and we shipped him off to, I don't even know where that was. And the next dude is getting shipped. We're getting back Desmond Bain. I don't hate that because Desmond Bain's a hooper. So yeah. Worst team in basketball. We're on our way. We're we're gonna do it again. This is so great. This is this has been something. Huh? Things are looking up for the Knicks, man. Roderick Sims, who was the fourth overall pick. So yeah, we trading away that guy. Um, and this guy for a super high value first round pick and Tyus Jones. Right now we are the ninth seed, and we've accepted a bunch of trades. One of which. Has brought Ben Simmons back, who they want to have come off the bench. Stop disrespecting Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons on the team. Alexei Pokushevsky. We also got Mitchell Robinson. And now, like, we have a team of eight, an 80 overall, like, rotation. And that was not the case the last couple seasons. So, like, we're the ninth seed. And there's a world, you know, if we keep it good for these next two weeks. We, oh, that's that's not bad. D do, we, do we have a shooting guard already? We have Malik Beasley. That's not too bad. Oh, snap. We keep this up to we get to the trade deadline. We might be a playoff team. Desmond Bain is back like we just had him a couple days ago. Um, and Joseph Lewis was a 25 point per game scorer. And we're getting rid of him? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, just, we just got to be we got to be good for the next week. Ben Simmons for DeJounte Murray. DeJounte's better. Hey, we, we might make a playoff push. We just need consistency. Once we get past this trade deadline, we need some consistency. Okay, we're trading Desmond Bain for V8 is back. Our starting shooting guard is D D Donnell Harris, who's not very good. We got a lot of power forwards. Give me one more trade to get rid of a power forward, please. Dang. Okay. Um, now it feels unlikely. I thought we were about to do a little run and potentially make a playoff spot. It don't look like it no more. Sucks. Potentially the first pick, the third pick, the seventh pick, the twelfth pick. We got one, four, eight, and 12, and 23, and 24, and 28. Why? Why? If I could just package some of those pieces together, oh, it would get kind of nice. Okay. Are you a stud? Hall of Fame ceiling. He's only got one badge, though. But Hall of Fame ceiling is, is promise. He averaged 30. Oh, snap. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have found our ticket to the end of the video. I hate that we have this many picks, but it, it might have got us a, okay, he's a 77, 76, 73. I mean, we had all of these first round, four first round picks we aren't even gonna sign. Like, come on, bro. That makes no, I mean, what? The New York Mets have, uh, have too many people overseas. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. We're seeing new stuff. How many people do we have overseas? None. Is it? Am I bugging? Either way, we have a first overall pick dude who, what position did you play? Was he a small four? He was a small four. Okay. We have no guard play other than DeJounte. I just hope that they go out there and, you know, sign some people in free agency. Did you do it? Did you sign anybody? What team are we? The Knicks? Wait, is DeJounte in free agency? Stop. Stop. What the heck? Go get the, why are we not signing DeJounte Murray? He went to the Rockets. Bro, I cannot. We got Kyrie Irving. Yay. We got significantly older. Are they serious right now? Oh, my God. Mitchell Robinson, wasn't he on our team? Or did we get rid of him? I forget. Either way, what a terrible free agency period. I just can't believe it. Kyrie lasted one, one day, by the way. Literally one day, and we shipped him to LA. Ijax. I didn't even know Ijax was on the team. He's getting traded. I mean... This is the challenge though, Kenny. This is what you signed up for. I mean, only the silver lining is that we have the one young stud. That's all I care about. If he continues to progress and he becomes the Hall of Fame ceiling player that, that we think he can be, then we're in a good spot because no matter what, if you're a Hall of Fame caliber player, all it takes is just one okay roster and then things will be okay. You know, just one okay roster. And even right now, we're the 60. I don't know where that's from, but we got to accept everything. I'm not even looking to see what they are anymore. I'm I'm on autopilot. You feel me? I'm on autopilot just accepting it all. Oh, my God. Um, 
um, oh my God, fourth overall pick, sixth, fifth overall pick, Trey Young. He's older. Chris sure how do we? 30 years old. Anthony Davis. He's old. He's 35. That's a dub. We the seventh seed and we has got a 90. Now, he might not even last two days, but that's huge. Those are two huge, huge trades. So, we take those. We made it to the deadline, y'all. And our, t our team is actually kind of nice. Trey Young survived. We still got the rookie hooping. And we got Click Capella And a bunch of 80s. I'm not saying we're a championship team because I don't think we're... But, like, we should be a playoff team at the minimum. With Trey Young, Clint Capella, and then those other 80 overall players. I mean, but you look watch the simulation. It ain't happening great. But, I mean, it's going to happen. Play in? We'll take it. We got Rookie of the Year who averaged 19-5-5. Five and five. This is our ticket. He's our ticket out of this, this God-forsaken challenge. It ain't going to be this year. We're, we're playing team. But next year, the year after that, I, I'm just saying he might be our ticket. Can we get out of the play in? We're going against the Heat. What the heck, Kenny? What are you doing? And we made it out of the play in. Okay. Anything is possible. We're going against uh, Zion, Sadiq Bey, J uh, Isaac Okoro, and that's and some auto generated dudes. We win game one, we lose game two, we win game three, we win game four, we're in the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, Trey Young, go on a crazy streak. It's ironic that he's trying to go on this one streak when he's playing in New York. This one is Jonathan Kaminga and, and uh, DeAndre Aiden. They are the three C. 1-1 one, one to start off with. We win that. We lose that. One more. We're in the conference finals. I've seen crazier things happen. Davion. Oh, my God, squad. Davion Book Reddish. The guy that we traded away. The former first overall pick. Dang. And Jared. Can I go look and see what type of stats he's putting up? Former first overall pick, bro. 21 and 10 in the playoffs. I don't even remember what we traded him for, who it was. We lost the trade, whatever it is. But maybe we win if we win this series. They're the five seed. It's not like they unbeatable, baby. They were beatable in the regular season. They were beatable in the regular season. One more game. We're going game seven. Uh, I don't want, I'm not changing no rotations. That's not my point. We're spectators here, y'all. We're spectators here. From playing to NBA Finals appearance. Can we see it happen? We're up by five. We win, and we're in the finals. Oh, my God. We're going against the one-seeded Rockets. DeJounte and Aaron Gordon. DeJounte, Aaron Gordon, Jalen. Okay. We beat other teams. What can, what can, uh. Game one, we lost. A triple-double from, from Jokic. Game two, we win. If we, Trey Young. Trey Young, we will have to retire your number in the garden. We're going to have to retire. Game three, we lost. Game four, we um, every single one of these series has been back and forth, back and forth. I can't say we're almost there because when you're accepting every trade, Trey Young can get traded in the first day of next season. Do we have a potential high lottery pick? No. I mean, Orlando, 1% chance. We didn't jump up. So 13, 17, and then 29, 30. Dang, bro. Our only hope is that that guy progresses. And for some reason, nobody offers a trade to get rid of Trey Young. That's all I can ask for. He jumped up five. He gets more badges. He jumped up five. Anthony Davis dropped. I forgot he was even on our team. And they signed Jalen Brown. It was Josh Primo here last year? He was here last year. Uh, we got a lot of guards. No bigs, really. No bigs. Unless this, he can run power four. He's 16. He's 16. Run him at the four. Again, you know, this don't mean nothing because first day, Trey Young might be at the door. But still, we were just in the NBA championship. They do have him starting at the four. Anthony Davis, the old self, is at the five. I bet we get to trade the first day. Oh, we don't. But it's day number three, and now we don't have a center. Oh, Jackson Hayes is basically a center. Okay, I guess that's fine. I want them to, like, cash in on all the picks we keep having. I don't know if we can replicate. Last year was our, our opening year. Now it just feels like it's going downhill. But I mean, listen, we started off pretty okay to start this season. Now we just, we really don't have a center. Who's starting at center now? Uh, Zubac, who's 32 years old on your 78. We got a ton of guards. Actually, I'm, I'm asking for them to, you know, trade some of these guards away. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Listen, we're good. We're actually good. We're the one seed. New York is back, baby. And they haven't offered a trade in three weeks? Oh, my God. We're back down to the seven seed. What the heck? We had a two-week stretch where we lost, like, every game, and now we're the 8th seed. I cannot believe how fast that just changed. What the heck?
Okay. All right. Well, I guess they're done offering trades, maybe? So far, Troy Young has survived. We have a legitimate chance, man. We never figured out the center is still Zubac. But, like, I mean, I'm feeling solid. The guys jumped up to 20 points per game. Trey Young and Jalen Brown both survived through the trade deadline? Come on, man. That's impossible. I'm low-key nervous because this is, our, again, our best chance of making it happen. If we don't get it done this year, I think we're going to not reset, but I feel like we're going to be back to one of the worst teams in basketball. All NBA third team for year two play, by the way. You know, you know what? Even if we don't win it this year, he is the answer to winning it eventually. I don't care. Nobody's even offered a trade for him, obviously. So I feel like he's on our un untouchable list, maybe. I'm not really sure. We're going against the Bulls, who had Rookie of the Year and one of these guys. I don't know. I just remember seeing number two Bulls. It might be that Cam guy. Trey Young is back, baby. We got reinforcements. Let's go win this championship, please. The Bulls series, easy. Toronto, what you got? What you got? Who you got? Toronto has Zion. Isaac Carver on Sadiq Bay. Oh, yeah, we went against this team last year, right? We beat them in six last year. Let's beat them in five. Five. Four. Great. Great. That's amazing. Oh, I felt it. They went on to the finals and lost to Frankie Robertson. I thought that was our year, y'all. We, we had a better regular season. I just... Disappoint, just slightly disappointed. That's fine. But you know what? Like I said, we have the young guy, and I didn't know your name. What's your name? Cody? Yeah, Cody. C O T Y. Cody. Cody. We think that he is the real deal, and we're going to see that in player progression. Lost Trey Young. We lost Trey Young. So we're, we're back to where we. St <laughs> We lost Trey Young, bro. I don't even understand how you can let him walk at free agency when money is never an issue. It never is an issue. Do we replace him with anything? Who is who is this guy? Oh, he's been on our team, I guess. Do we replace him with? We didn't sign nobody in free agency. Big wow, big big loss for this team, bro. We're we're gonna be back to the worst team in basketball. Ha <laughs> ha. At least we got Cody progressing all NBA last year. Hey, he might be an all-time legend if he can help us win. Now, I do believe that we somewhat broke the video or the challenge because we didn't nearly get as many offers as year one, year two, year three, or whatever. Just a few ones to wrap up right here, but we have consistently been pretty solid. We're back to a playoff team. We didn't do anything dramatic. Nobody offered us a trade for Cody and nobody offered us a trade for Jalen Brown. So now we could just have that final team chemistry and go on win streaks, baby. This could be our year. Who needs Trey Young when Cody, I, I, I forget his name, when Cody is that man's. He might be that man's. All right, here we go. 4C. Remember, we made it to the finals as a 7C, so seeding doesn't matter when you have an all-NBA first team player. 26, 7, and 5, decent shooting splits. Okay, how, how, wait, what's your overall NBA first team overall? 88, and everybody around him is a 93 or above. Also, this guy. Also, this guy, who we also had. Also, this guy, he was on our team for some time. And don't say, I swear, I swear to you, he was on our team. He might have played one game, two games. He was on our team. I, I know he was. Also, this guy. <laughs> and this guy, and I don't think Anyeka Kangu was here, but... Just all of these players were once upon a time on our team. We didn't went through a thousand different players. We're starting off with the Atlanta Hawks who have Darius Garland and Carl Anthony. T this is a really good team. I didn't see how bad our team was. Look at our overalls. We don't deserve to be here. Actually, we do. We believe in ourselves. To, 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 we, we went to seven and we won because our guy Cody, Cody fouled out. But hey, whatever. We're going against Philly and Philly has... A good team, but that's one seed. I'm surprised this team's a one seed. All right, we we living, we good. We got a chance. Not just a chance. We're the favorite, baby. A little state of New York, little thing. Trey Murphy used to play for us as well. Colin Sexton used to play for us as well. So they had three players on their team that used to play for our organization. Game one, we lose. Dang. Game two, we win. Three, we lose. Four, we win. No, we down three one. Fight back. Three one comeback. The Knicks run New York, baby. The Knicks were in New York. Okay, we're here to go against the Lakers, who are the seventh seed. Ayo, who used to be on this team. Harry Whitney, Jonathan Kaminga, Click Appel used to be on this team. So we're going against Giannis. Giannis versus Cody. Cody was on NBA first team. Giannis probably was too. I don't even remember. Game one is a win for the Knicks. 43, 16, and 8. Stop playing. Kaminga's their best player. It's not even Giannis. It, okay, this game it was. 
but 37, 9, and 4 with four blocks. We won. We did it. We I cannot believe this team just did that. I cannot believe it. Who needs Trey Young? Bro average almost 40 in the finals. 40. Nine rebounds, six assists, two blocks, and one and a half steals. Guy was elite. It, it took us about 10 seasons for accepting every trade for us to win a championship. We needed to, we had two first overall picks, and both of them blossomed into being pretty good. This is the other one. We were just too impatient. We gave him one season, not even. We gave him a third of a season. We said, You're bad, get out of here. And if we would have had both, we would have got this challenge done way early. But hey, Whatever, we got it done. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. And be sure to tune in around this same time tomorrow because we will have another video. I'll see y'all then. Peace.